Well, you can't see anything, but uh, here in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, down here on the coast for my birthday. Mm. It's been a good one, too. It's been a good one. Everybody, we're here in Hampton, South Carolina. Down there's the laundromat, most popular place to hang out in town. Not much to it down here. This is just a small town feel on the bottom of South Carolina down here in hardcore Gamecock territory. Now this is nothing like where I'm from in Greenville. This is where all my family lives down here. So we're visiting this. These guys are lucky to have a Hardee's. That movie gallery right there has been closed down for about a year and a half. But uh, don't tell them that. that's the only place. Video. Yeah, there's your new video place, Doc Seven. Woo! He's going out of there's El Cheapo, you know. Doc, Doc Seven's going. That out actually used to be a Hardee's right there, but uh, yeah. no, that's that's Title Max now. Yeah, go get your loan, guys. Dude, uh, Doc your Pizza Hut, down, you slowest Pizza Hut. What? Doc Seven videos get closed down. Oh really? Yeah, it's amazing. Red you get box. some. Uh, you get your 300. Oh, there's a charger on the roof. Some 22s back there. That's nice. Oh yeah. That, well, that's the end of town right here. Y'all just saw the whole thing. We're going to Subway. Gonna have a good one here. Patrick Henry basketball. Oh, oh he's fouled. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I think so. What? <laughs> you don't know what Oh, he's got his arm. Patrick Henry leading 28 to 27, 11.7 left. Seven fouls apiece. I need this. Two shots for Hunter Spielman. Take your time. Ranger. Take your time. Oh, he'll make. He'll make the second one. Take your time, Hunter. Uh, I didn't get it. Get it back. Get Ten, it back. nine, eight. Oh, they need to stop. They need to stop. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, no. All right, Patrick Henry wins. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Griff. This is why he's the Heisman Trophy winner, folks. Mmm. Mm. That's why he's the Heisman Trophy winner. Um, oh, look at this. It's almost time, guys. It's almost time for this little thing to, to happen. It's almost time for the BCS Bowl. You know, let's talk about a little bit of stuff here. First off, with New Hopkins on the way to Clemson, the day that they left to go to Miami, on the way down there, he got in a wreck. And the guy, you know, he had a mild concussion. You never know, you know, if that can turn into something more serious or if, you know, it's just going to, you know, we still don't know yet, but I'm really hoping that everything goes out for him. You know, he's a good guy. Hope everything works out. I hope he's going to be okay. He's down there right now. He made it to Miami. He's practicing with the team. And as far as I'm, I know right now, everything's looking good for him. And he will play in the Orange Bowl. Um, you know, what else? Guys, we need we need more Clemson TTCers. That's another thing. South Carolina just got two more. But what does that give them? Six or seven active TTCers, and we don't have close to that. Dude. We got what two right now? We had a few at the beginning of the season, but they they run off. Um, you know, so we're getting ready for the BCS and the Clemson West Virginia game. Of course, not the only one. I'm looking forward to the Oklahoma State game. Of course. See if they can get their uh, share of the national championship, which I know they will if they win. They'll get a share of the national championship, like uh, what happened a few years ago. Um, and of course, you know, the, now y'all know I'm not a conference homer. Y'all know I'm not an ACC homer. I could care less about the ACC. But there's two ACC teams in BCS balls this year. And I don't care who we're playing. All these people talking about West Virginia Clemson. Y'all know it's going to be the best BCS game as far as entertainment because. You know, it's the two highest scoring offenses out there. It'll be a very entertaining game. And um, so, Virginia Tech and Michigan. 
Now, Virginia Tech's down right now. They played so great to end the season with a 38 to nothing win, and then they come up against us, and we all know what happened there. How will they respond? They're in a BCS game, you know? They're in the Sugar Bowl playing a better team than we're playing. No offense with Virginia, but they're playing a better team than we're playing. They're playing Michigan. Now, I would have rather played Michigan. I might be wrong after the game if West Virginia beats us, but just from a, uh, I see all these Michigan fans coming down here to Hilton Head and stuff during the summer. And I love beating Michigan and Ohio State. I wish we could play them every year just so we could uh, we could laugh at those people coming down here with their cocky Ohio State and Michigan stuff. But, you know, just to play Michigan would have been good. But, you know, we go to West Virginia every now and then, too. So we got West Virginia friends. So I'm fine playing West Virginia, even though I would have probably rather played Michigan. Um, with shoelaces and all that. Virginia Tech, y'all got to win this game. Y'all got to. The ACC really needs to go 2-0. I don't care who we're playing. We need to go 2-0 in the BCS to shut some of these people up. Now, I don't really want to get to me or care anything, but, you know, hey, why not let the ACC start getting some respect this year? Because we got just as good at players in this conference as any conference in the country. We got SEC speed all over the place. Miami, uh, Florida State, Clemson, some for Virginia Tech, um, Georgia Tech. We all got SEC speed, as they call it. But we just don't have like we don't have the the guys that play as a team like they do in the SEC. We don't have the coaches they have in the SEC. Now if Beamer coached in the SEC, he'd be a national championship coach. And that's a fact. Paul Johnson would probably be a national championship coach. But uh, they're not working with quite the same stuff. You know, and uh, so they they're they're not. And another thing is that the teams in the ACC just seem to beat up on each other so much. It's like in the SEC you'll see some of the lower teams like Ole Miss, some of the teams that were like Ole Miss this year, Tennessee, teams that were down, Florida, they're intimidated by LSU and Alabama and some of the big teams. Now, I know Alabama and LSU are a lot better than these teams, but they play intimidated. Even LSU and Alabama's offenses played intimidated against each other's defenses. The defenses are great, but they were making you know, mistakes that Furman wouldn't make in that game just so intimidated by each other and you know you see these teams there's so many blowouts there's so many that are just so much more intimidated so intimidated of each other you don't have that in the ACC in the ACC all the bottom tier teams are you know know they can beat these top teams in the conference and they do every year plus we beat each other up but hopefully it'll stop we gotta get it to stop because we need somebody out there contending obviously and just to go like I don't know how many teams we got in bowls eight go seven and one in bowls this year would be huge you know, take it for what it's worth. That's what that's what I think. Uh, as far as West Virginia goes, you know, Dumbass to the team made a video showing us. It was, it was about a couple of weeks ago, showing us a video about Taven Austin, and you know, he's got some C.J. Spiller-like moves. I already told him that. I mean, that kid, he's good. He had some moves in there, but we got just as much speed, if not more, than y'all, and we'll be ready for that. Of course, he'll probably burn our defense a few plays. A lot of people have done that this year. But our defense is playing with some confidence now for the Virginia Tech game. And they will use that. And uh, it's going to come down to whose defense is better. And, you know, I'm just not still impressed with the way West Virginia's played all season. Squeezing by those teams. They're only blowouts, real blowouts in 1AA team in UConn, which is, was not good this year. Um, but that's not going to matter in this game. It might matter. Clemson, on, you know, after watching them play this season, at least in the first few games in the ACC championship, look better. But if we play like we did against South Carolina, NC State, and Georgia Tech, anybody in the country can blow us out. West Virginia would take us to the woodshed. They're a good enough team to do that. Is this the best West Virginia team that's been in the BCS? It's the worst. Out of the three West Virginia teams that have been in the BCS, this is by far the worst. But Clemson's probably not the best team they've played. Georgia and uh, if they played somebody else, might have been Oklahoma or something. Y'all have to refresh me on that. Um, but you know, I just wanted to come in here and talk a little bit of football, talk a little bit about bowls. 18 to 14 win for Florida State over Notre Dame. That was a great game. It was a great game. I, I missed the first half. I got back when it was 14 to 3. So I got to see the whole comeback and everything. Great win for Florida State. Uh, congrats to Dolan's Blog and all you Florida State TTCers out there. KBD, all y'all. Um, so that was a good win for y'all, but you know. I'll make another video just about West Virginia probably a day or two before the game. We'll see. It's just a little update video. Go Tigers. Let's go get some Mountaineers. Let's go eat us some Mountaineers.